Hello everyone and welcome to the magical world of pyrography. Today I am burning on older wood with bark again. The reference I have chosen is quite easy in terms of composition. We have the main object, the all, and simple dark background which brings this all perfectly out. Nothing fancy. But there is always something you can do to turn even a simple reference into an interesting artwork. You are watching Werewolf Pyrography. I am Werewolf. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and support my art with your like. Let's go! My first creative decision is not to put the all in the center of the slice. I have decided to place you closer to the left edge in order to leave some open space. Of course, I outline the all with my trustworthy spear pen, but this time I have to turn the heat higher than usual, because all is quite hard kind of wood and it is not easily burned. The eyes have to attract attention immediately, so I make sure that they are brought up by very high contrast. It is achieved by making pupils totally black and burning the line around both eyes black as well. The owl's beak is open, and it is a challenge for me. All shapes and shading have to be spot on. The best way to get it right is to let yourself concentrate on shapes only and do not call the beak beak in your head. If you look closer, you can see a triangle and maybe some other geometric shapes. This way, your brain is free from any preconceived images and can focus on what is really there.
I define the texture of the feathers very carefully, paying attention to the difference between darker and lighter feathers. You can see this feather pattern typical for an owl on its neck. I am burning it with my spoon pen, because with this you can achieve good gradient on each spot almost instantly. to come back to the elements I have already burned in order to strengthen some dark values.
This owl's breast is white, so I leave it mostly blank, defining only some basic textures. this white spot on its breast has to be brought out by darker feathers around it. we have the all, let's take care of the atmosphere. It is night time, so I burn the sky black, leaving some space for the moon and the light it throws. Let's define the moon. the sickle of the moon more distinct, I use my white bead artist pen brush. What could fit better to those huge eyes than several flying bats? Those are some little easily executed details, but with them this picture gets more and more atmosphere.
some of the beds turned out as well as I wanted them to be, but they definitely create the mood. Now I have to paint the eyes with yellow acrylics, adding a little touch of green. I also use white acrylics to paint some stars and make the moon brighter. And now my pyrography is finished. See how interesting this picture looks in comparison with the reference. It is achieved by making only a couple of easy adjustments. And do you like the final result? I really hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please support me with your likes, subscribe and click the bell button not to miss my new videos. Leave me some comments too. I would be very happy to welcome you next week in my new pyrography journey. Send you a lot of inspiration. Bye!